Hello you beautiful creatures, how the devil are you? I hope you're well. If you're new here, my name is Lou or Lucifer, as my friends like to call me. By my friends, I mean my Instagram account. This is a very handy introduction and I don't know why, because they're naked. I need to put my engagement ring on, that's not good. Uh, <coughs> Hello, welcome to the video. This is chaotic already. We're back with another box of goth. That was really aggressive, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm I'm very I'm feeling very chaotic at the moment I've got a lot of stuff going on uh, if you do want to get straight into the video please hit this timestamp here to get straight into the unboxing otherwise if you want to come here for a little bit of housekeeping please stay tuned Wow a lot has changed um, a lot has changed a lot is different uh, I'm driving tomorrow I've got my first driving lesson tomorrow so I'm freaking out a lot uh, this is yeah my brain's all over the place at the moment I always wanted to learn how to drive but it's finally happening and yeah I'm freaking out obviously it's the first lesson so I don't know what to expect but a lot of people have said once you're kind of comfortable after the first lesson it's not necessarily too bad so that's okay uh yeah things have been topsy-turvy all over the place had a very good start to the day i had a wonderful unboxing from miss megan fire from third moon park designs i basically did a mini unboxing she sent me fan mail for my 600 subscriber milestone that's amazing uh, yeah, it was full of tears. That's why my makeup is unfortunately very blotchy. Uh, this side is just a mess anyway. You guys know me enough by now to know that I cover it up because I work smarter, not harder. <sighs> Is that everything? I feel like that's everything. It's probably not everything. I still have blues, post gig blues from Ghost. I'm very, very depressed. Uh, we got to the front, it was beautiful. The week before, we actually met Papa Amores, the proper Amaretus the fourth. It was biblical. Uh, I cried a lot. Again, that was amazing. So yeah, and my face is kind of blotchy at the moment because I was wearing a lot of makeup for work yesterday. Anyway, as you guys know, sometimes I work in a dungeon. So yeah, it's a lot of makeup and it brings you out in spots. So I don't fancy wearing a lot today. Also, I just didn't feel like it. And if anybody tells you that you should be wearing makeup or why aren't you wearing any makeup? You look ill, hex them or burn them because it's none of their damn business. Or if you haven't shaved in a while, just set them on fire. It's fine. You, you have my consent. <laughs> but I'm so sorry this was really really chaotic. Thank you everybody who's always here for the housekeeping part. I do really appreciate it. I always like to update you guys with what's going on, uh, what's going to be going on. But for now let's get into another box of goth unboxing because I love this girl's boxes so much and they always make me happy or less nervous. I'm really nervous at the moment. Okie dokie, so I believe this is Victorian Gothic. Hang on, let me check my spooky box club out because I feel like I've stolen that. No, that's Lost in Wonderland. That's afterwards. Okay, so this, I believe, is Victorian Gothic. Let's have a gander. Yes, yes it is. Um, is this a table of contents? Yes, it is. Yes, it's Victorian goth. There we go. So this is the print. So this is what your table of contents will usually look like. If you're new to Box of Goth, what I usually do with these videos, kind of show you what to expect, what they usually do, uh, what the themes are kind of like. If you're interested in buying your own Box of Goth, which I would fully recommend because she's a wonderful woman and we love her. Um, yes that was chaotic again very chaotic so victorian gothic interesting let's see what we're going to get okay okay we're starting with a accessory already i'm here for it so usually what you will do you will get accessories so you'll get uh socks you'll get jewelry you'll get a uh, little key change you'll get um little stickers you'll get little notepads you'll get uh little pins not necessarily all in the same box they're spread out through different boxes depending on the themes they're very heavy on their beetlejuice themes uh all of their cult classic themes horror themes i did one and it was one of my favorites and it was urban legends and i loved it so if you're watching this nikki please do another urban legend box because that was sick i loved it okie dokie so oh they're for your wrists oh cute 
I really hope they're, they're for your wrists because I'm going to look like an idiot if not. That's another part of these videos. I look like an idiot most of the time and people get to laugh at me so that's always good. Oh, they're so comfy. So you can always put this on underneath like a coat or a blouse or something to give off the illusion that you're wearing something rather thrilly underneath. Uh, they're very cute. I like them very much. Also, I've started a buy me a coffee. Sorry, that came out of the blue. But yes, I've started a buy me a coffee. You can do one off payment, smallest of one pound. If you feel like supporting me and sending me a tip that would be absolutely wonderful you're under no obligation whatsoever a lot of people were asking me about subscriptions on youtube unfortunately i can't do that yet until i hit 1000 subscribers you know what to do <laughs> i have got patreon at the moment but that's not doable for some people so they were looking for uh, the subscription service on youtube so we'll work on that once we hit 1000 subscribers but we'll see um Oh no, this is going to kill me. So we have got loose leaf, loose leaf organic black tea. So we had last week, we had uh, green tea. Now, unfortunately, I have IBS. So a lot of stuff just goes straight through me. Too much information. We're here for it. We love it. Uh, yeah. So uh, let's see. Infuse one teaspoon per cup of hot water steep for three to seven minutes depending on taste okie dokie i will give it a try if i'm not here within like a couple of weeks you'll know that i have expired i actually do have a tea strainer so i can always pop it in that one let's see how it smells it's gonna throw me against the wall isn't it i know it's gonna throw me against the wall there we go but what have we got coming up at the moment so next we've got alice cooper coming up we're going to visit him uh we're actually going to the war of the world's immersive experience please don't be fooled i don't have a lot of money this is stuff that's been either bought for me for a christmas present or i've bought for gareth so the war of the world's immersive experience i got for him for our valentine's day um sorry for our um anniversary we've been together six years which is nice Oh my love. Oh, that's a lot. I can't wait for it to kill me. <laughs> I can't wait for it to have its way with me. That's that's black tea. Uh, yeah, so we've got that coming up. I don't know how much or how little I'm going to be able to film of it, unfortunately. I'm not at a moment on YouTube where I can freely film as and when, when I want, if you get where I'm coming from. I am hoping, and it's very unrealistic, but I would really love it. So screen first, you can you can actually get a press badge if you've got more than 2,000 subscribers. I would really love to get that so I could show you guys what it's all about. But if that's not doable for this year, that's absolutely fine. I would love to get to 1,000 subscribers. I would really appreciate that. And you guys are doing that already. Like, I woke up and I had 604 subscribers the other morning. I was like, bruh, that's a lot. Uh, but thank you so much which I do really appreciate it. Oh, we've got a little white box. Okay, that's fine. That's good. We like our little white boxes. <gasps> oh, look at the little picture frame. Oh, I adore these. Yes, I need to find a cute little picture of me and Gareth to put in it, or maybe of my cat. I miss Jess a lot. My cat died. Uh, this was like last year, so yeah it's nothing new but that's really cute that is very very adorable i'd love to get a load of these we're aiming to get a house next year um so like try and put a deposit down for one this year and then maybe get it next year i don't know but i'd really love it to have like a curiosity wall and have some of these on there so that would be really really cool okie dokie Ooh, we've got an alchemy england tea bag and spoon rest Nikki, you're spoiling us, girl. Oh my God. Okay, let's see what we've got. So the logo is pretty sick as it is anyway. I love Alchemy. Alchemy England, Alchemy Moon. Witch's Brew. Oh, that's sick. That's really cool. I don't know why I keep saying that's sick. I'm not a road man. Uh, why do they call themselves road man now? When I was growing up, it was Chav. I don't know. I got beat up by all of them anyway. So, okie dokie. So we've got Witch's Brew. That's adorable. So what do I do with this? That's a tea bag and spoon rest. I really need one of these because I just throw my tea bags 
everywhere like a feral really so that's really useful thank you very much nikki much appreciated okie dokie okay so we've got a little accessory bag so usually you can find a bracelet or you can find a necklace in here which is always nice always welcome there we go i love using them as layered pieces and what i mean by that if you haven't watched one of my videos yet so say for example you've got a choker you put these layered pieces underneath it to build it up and you can like make any look you want but just be careful they don't all oh just be careful they don't all get tangled oh it's a pin it's a pin look at that it's got a little key a little skull and a little cross you could pop that I was going to say I'd pop it on my battle jacket, however, download is coming up. I am going to do a video about battle jackets, actually, and I don't want to lose it, so maybe I'll put that on something else. But yes, if you have got a battle jacket and you've got pins, just be careful, because they will come, come out. Oh my god, it's a little knitted bat. I love him so much. I'm going to call him Bertie. Oh, look at him. There we go. Can I get a thumbnail out of this? I got a thumbnail out of it. <laughs> Thank you so much. I love, I adore bats. So there was this one time I went to Chester Zoo and they had the bat enclosure open. I don't know if it's open yet just because of COVID, unfortunately. They are susceptible to COVID, which is a shame. Um, <laughs> so I went in it for the first time, walked through, and I kid you not, this bat literally smacked itself against my head and just like pushed its little furry body up my forehead. And obviously I didn't know what was going on, so I was screaming, I was crying, my mum was laughing at me, and it was a whole spectacle. There was a lot of trust issues involved, but yes, I have had a fluffy little bat body on my noggin. Ooh, you're spoiling us my love uh we have got some lavender tea body wash <gasps> i'll fall asleep in the shower and i can't wait let the feeling of this calm moisturizing body wash hydrate and nourish your skin a bespoke blend fragrance of citrus lavender and tea extract to soothe your skin and relax your mind a clear a clear botanical experience to add to your bedtime ritual girl i need a bedtime ritual I feel like this thing's like, yes. I was going to say, it doesn't smell like anything. Lou, take the cap off. Oh, yes. Yes. And you can recycle the bottle as well. We really appreciate that. I will definitely add that to my bedtime routine because Satan knows I need one. <laughs> oh, I'm all over the place at the moment. Okie dokie. <gasps> oh wow i love keys i love keys so much i can hang that up somewhere yes thank you so much i adore keys and it's got such a lovely design at the top of it i don't know why um I don't know why I like keys so much. I don't know if it's because it was from like Harry Potter or something like that, but I, I'm obsessed with keys. Anything that's got keys on it, I absolutely adore. So I might put that somewhere and then I might put it on the Christmas tree because we have a pretty cool Christmas tree. Okay, so the last thing we have got, we have got a little accessory bag again. So again, this will be either a necklace or a bracelet or an anklet. There we go. Lovely. Oh, that's pretty. So we've got a little red crucifix. I really love these simplistic little pieces. So what I'm going to do, what I usually do with these videos, I show you how long the chain is just because, again, some people find short chains rather restrictive and they don't like them for certain reasons and that's absolutely fine. So I've put this closer to the end. Ow, my hair, it's everywhere. There we go. So I've put it closer to the end and that, yeah, that fits nicely actually. There we go. So that's what I'm talking about with a layered piece. This main necklace I've got on, it's a it's a three in one basically. So it looks layered anyway. But yeah, I am very, very happy with that. That's lovely. And it's a very like, it pops, which I really, really like. So let's see what we've got on the, um, table of contents oh she's done it in a fancy font oh no this is gonna butcher me crochet bat by um 
wand and hook so i'll check them out i'll pop them down uh, in the description below before you so we've got a ta uh, safety pin charm brooch mini black photo frame vintage key bottle open stop it oh of course it is so the way the key's shaped if you can see it it's a bottle opener that's even better uh will i use it as a bottle opener probably not because it's too precious and i love it too much uh but yeah that's what it is i'm stupid uh lace cuff sleeves i was right fantastic organic loose leaf black tea uh lavender tea body lotions that's bubble bubble it cosmetics i think so i think that's what it is which is brew tea spoon rest a cross pendant on wax cord and that is another box of goth boom in the bag that was an absolutely wonderful experience i really enjoyed that one there's a lot of stuff that i will be definitely using with this box and i also want to say i really appreciate all the skincares that i'm getting i've actually been able to build up some kind of skincare routine through using box of goth so if anything you can build up a skincare routine with it it's very self-care orientated which i really really enjoy yeah that was absolutely gorgeous i always love little picture frames like this she actually did a witch's cupboard one which helped me a lot with my practice like it gave me a lot of equipment that i can use so if you are into that kind of stuff if you're a bit of a tea fanatic anything like that box of goth can absolutely help you to continue your collection to bulk up your collection especially with jewelry it's it's a fantastic little box i love it so much you know every box i get i always find something that i really enjoy i rave about her continuously she's a one woman team and she does all of this which is fantastic thank you so much nikki and thank you so much for watching i really appreciate it don't know why i keep messing with my hair oh that's right because i've got a driving lesson tomorrow <laughs> wonderful <laughs> but i really hope you enjoyed this video if you did please consider slashing that subscribe button i would really appreciate it murder it if you have to <laughs> otherwise i hope you've had a good day if not that's okay always remember tomorrow's a new day see you later guys bye